Hey, hey, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. If you're watching video on demand, feel free to skip until the start of the video. Um, otherwise, we'll be getting started very shortly. Here we go. Two and a half minutes. We well since we got into this one. New Year's! I think we did. Yeah, New Year's was the last time. Better silence the birds before we get a um, copyright. <laughs> ah. <coughs> oh dear. <laughs> yes, well. I didn't even check. I wonder if I, I've surrendered on that other copyright yet. Probably not. I got 30 days to surrender, right? Yeah, YouTube, are you working today? Uh, YouTube, it should have already started. Why haven't you? Oh, I think it has. There you go. It's so fast, YouTube. <laughs> You're so fast. <laughs> All right. So yes, we're still managing on one screen today. We'll get there. Hello and welcome to today's live stream. I'm Glenn Bixley and today, yeah, you know it, you can already tell by the animals, we are on House Plipper again. Um, we're here for the new update. Yeah, these developers just keep updating the game. Um, brilliant to see, I must say. When I purchased this game, for anyone who's wondering, I thought we had a finished game and it wasn't going to get any further updates. So this is our community garden, for anyone who's wondering. Um, hey, Oddy. Um, so this is this is our community garden, but I actually, I've been playing this one for a while now, well over a year, and I thought the game was finished. But it turns out the developers just keep updating it, which is brilliant. Okay, so we have a new house today, the summer house. Uh, so we're going to buy this, we're going to jump in, we're going to do this one up. Uh, 97,300. So, it's a tree house. It's by a lake. I like the tree coming up through the middle. I think we can do something with this one. What do you guys reckon? It actually doesn't look too bad to start with. But you wait until I get in there. I'm going to destroy it. <laughs> it's what I do. So yes, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. I really enjoyed this game. Uh, it's one of my favourites, I must say. I Like I say, I, when I purchased this, I really thought the game was finished. I thought it was done. But the developers have kept me surprised in the fact that they are regularly putting out updates on this. Uh, they do have House Flipper 2 coming soon. But that, 
I would believe is more to do with the fact that so many good ideas have been given to them that the developers now realize they need to do something drastic to the game in order to make the game that everybody wants. A few of those suggestions have come from myself, but yeah, they're doing a brilliant job, I must say. Let's have a look around this place. So yeah, welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. Oh, we have a painting easel. What is that thing? Is that a candle or something? No idea. Actually, it doesn't look bad a house as it is. It looks pretty good. I think Glenn's going to come in here and just destroy the place. Okay, that doesn't open. Oh, well, we could keep the Dracinia. They didn't have Dracinias before, did they? They had the Yucca. I don't remember them having either. Oh, yeah, I think they did, actually. Um, I dare say been a... Ooh. No, hang on. These must be all new plants, I think. I don't remember the Dracinia. And the Bird of Paradise. I don't remember the Bird of Paradise either. Um... Oh, blimey, this place is really nice. And you want me to just... Oh, yeah, well, you shouldn't have let me in here. Rose petals on the floor. Okay. Wow, what do we do with this place, guys? Do I do my usual thing and just destroy it? <laughs> it's actually a very nice house, I must say. Can we go? No, we can't go out the back at all. Um, I was kind of hoping there might have been a balcony. Uh, one thing that they have changed now is we can also paint balconies. So, there's a lot of updates added. Of course, this is the new house. Uh, Mother-in-law's tongue's been here for a while. This, though, the rose. I don't remember seeing a white rose before. Not like that. Maybe there has been, and I've just missed it. A few herbs. Yep, that's not new. Um, these don't open? No. Okay. They've even got... Right, it's just a usable laptop. Wow, this place is actually really nice. You sure you want me to destroy it? <laughs> Can I ride a bike? Oh, you can't even ride the bike? Oh, that's a bit sad, isn't it? God blimey. Um, it's actually a really nice looking house, I must say. Right, so let's destroy it. Because that's what we do around here, right? Whoa, I'm getting a little bit of freezing. Could be because the game has just loaded in for the first time. Right. We're going to get rid of all the weeds, all the bushes. And we'll um, clean this place up a bit. That's all weeds. But yes, it's been a wee while since we've played this one. I'm actually really looking forward to the farm DLC. Yeah, they're... Oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> it exploded. Okay, I want to keep the rest of these trees because we want to keep some trees. I just didn't want those ones. Okay, so let's get rid of the weeds. Hmm, I need ideas on what we're going to do with the inside of the house, guys. Because at the moment, for me, it actually looks really good already. So we're going to need some ideas. I need a theme. What is your guys' suggestion as to what we want to do with this thing? We'll completely rip it apart today. We'll tear it back to its bare frame. Because that's what I do. And then you guys can let me know what we're going to do with it. But I promise you, it's going to look worse by the end of the day. <laughs> and then we'll fix it up, make it look nice in the next stream. I generally tend to completely start afresh for anyone who's new. Um, if you're wondering, I just completely start a whole new fresh start. Otherwise, I find if you leave things behind, it kind of influences your build. You know, even if it's just something simple like a clock. 
you end up leaving that clock there, then that changes the influence of the build. I generally tend not to do that. Okay, let's mow this lawn then. What's stopping? Oh, didn't even see that one. Okay, we can change the stairs. What do we have for stair options? Change. Okay, so we can just change the colour. Okay. Sell it. Now, I was going to say we can't sell it. That's blanked out. Need stairs! <laughs> Alright, so hopefully everything's working today. I am still managing with... We need a lawnmower, Glenn. Still managing with the one screen. So I'll do my best to keep up with chat. I've forgotten how difficult this lawnmower is to use. There we go. Now it's mowing. Come on. I want to get a screenshot. Why is this lawnmower stopped? Hang on. I can't. What's going on? Oh, I keep trying to steer with the mouse. You don't steer with the mouse. Forgotten. you got to steer with the keyboard. <laughs> but we'll clean this lawn up. And then we'll get a screenshot of the house. For a thumbnail for the next stream. And then we'll head upstairs. And start ripping the place apart. <laughs> Blank slate. Wipe it out. And then you guys can hopefully give me some suggestions as to what I can do with it. I sure hope my chat's working. I'll check in a minute. Because it doesn't seem to be. Father Jack's normally in by now. So if it's not working, I will check on that in a second. What is going on? Are you working? Oh, apparently. No Father Jack yet. <laughs> okay, so there's still a few flowers that I'm going to have to get rid of. I like the fact you can mow through a tree. Can imagine what it would be like to mow a lawn if you could do that in real life. Just mow through a tree like that and they don't get in your way. Oh, if it was that easy, I'd probably take up mowing lawns for a living. <laughs> it's not a pleasant job. Done it for a bit of money in the past, but it never paid to know it well enough. Not with the maintenance and the petrol and everything. It's something I did as a kid. I undo the lawnmower. <laughs> Actually, that would be something kind of cool if they added it. I haven't really thought about it before. The ability to mow stripes into your lawn, like Americans do. We don't do that here in New Zealand. My grandparents used to do that sort of thing. Not so much stripes, but my grandfather used to mow the lawn the same way that he did uh, bowling green, the lawn bowls. <laughs> it was absolutely mint smooth. But it was always done in straight lines. Can't see in the shade. Uh, do we have a torch? Can't remember. Is it F? Yeah. What is that? 
Looks like a dog's peed on the lawn. Okay, this is the longest length. Yeah, looks like dog pee. I <laughs> don't think you get that. I guess you do. Of course you do. Hard to see through the house. Can't tell whether I'm getting straight lines and then I keep missing bits. Hey, Father Jack, how are you, mate? Good evening to you. We're back on House Blipper with the spring update. Uh, they've got a brand new house. There we go. Does that look good? Uh, they've got a brand new house. New decorations and new plants, I think. Going to get into those in a minute. Now that I've done this. Oh, bee! I have never seen a bee before. I wonder if that's new. That would actually make it worthwhile putting more flowers in, in my opinion. I'm still Father Christmas! <laughs> um, I have never seen bees before, but bees probably are because of the farming update coming. That would be my guess. And bees would be part of the farming update, which makes them important. So now they're going to have bees. I love it! It would actually be kind of cool having animals and things like that in House Flipper, other than the pets. I've got all the DLCs that are currently available for anyone who is wondering. And we will be doing the pets update. Ah, the pets, the uh, farming. What was that one? I think there's seed pods or something floating in the air. All right, okay. So that cleans up downstairs, gives it, gives us something to get a screenshot from anyway. Um, do I need to be Santa? <laughs> I do have to laugh that I'm still Santa. We might need to change that. All right, let's get us a screenshot and then we will head upstairs to start working on this house. So it's supported from three trees. Okay. It is. Okay. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Supported from three trees. Uh, do we keep the bikes? I guess we can keep the bikes. Are they clean? <laughs> I don't think you can clean them like this. The house is dirty. Yeah, you're not kidding. The house is dirty. I don't even think you can clean them that way. Or maybe you can, because, I mean, that works the same as the uh, broom. And then we go to the broom here. Okay. Right. Well, let's get a screenshot for a start. Where do we get that from? Out here somewhere? Uh, is it H per HUD? Yeah, look at that. Let's get a nice screenshot of this. Where, where's the lake? Can we get the lake? No, not really. Oh, hang on. You've learnt from other people. What you do is you put down scaffolding, apparently. And if you put down scaffolding... Gives you the ability to get a decent screenshot. Um, right here, maybe. Okay. So, 
Uh, Glenn's got to remember how to put down scaffolding. Uh, that would be, is it structures? Fences, bridges, stairs, other. No. Scaffolding, seven meter, nine meter. It's a lot of money to spend on a screenshot. <laughs> uh, we'll spin it around. Uh, how do you do that in this one? Mouse, that's right. Been a wee while, eh? Yes, tomorrow we're going to be back into Seven Days to Die with Twitch integration. For any of you who have missed that. Uh, this is what? This, I don't remember it being this tall before. HUD. That makes a better screenshot, but I can't see the lake. I was kind of hoping to see the lake. Um, why am I not getting the hooja? What's going on? Um, hello? Yes? Oh, because the HUD wasn't up. <laughs> I'm thinking, why don't I get the, the hand to move this? But yeah, it's because the HUD wasn't up. That's better. Now we can get the lake. Much better. Right, so we'll get a screenshot and then we'll start working on the place. There we go. Right. Okay. So, question is, what are we going to do with it, guys? Whoa, whoa, note down. What are we going to do with this place? What's our theme? And he said, oh, can I get off the ladder, please? Every time I walk away from it, <laughs> I keep going back up. <laughs> All right. So what we'll do... For, oh, HUD, HUD, HUD. What we'll do for a start is we'll get rid of all the furniture, like I normally do. Upset the people, because I love upsetting people. It's one of the things I do. We'll keep the plants. I think we'll keep all the plants. We may end up moving plants around, but I'm going to keep all the plants for now. I do like to have plants within the house. A rugby ball. When did we get a rugby ball? I don't ever remember a rugby ball. But then it is spring, so maybe that's all part of the spring update too, eh? What is that? Is that scales? I sold it. Um, buffering. Gone. Just like that. Ah, uh, there's even GIF. Or buffering cleaner, whatever it is. Um... Look how dirty this place is. Snowy! No, that sounds wintry. It's gone! <laughs> All right, that cleans that place out. Uh, we'll get rid of the plumbing. Nobody needs plumbing anyway. I'll leave the light switches for now so we can at least light the place up. Don't like the door. Oh, records. They're gone. <laughs> What a messy room you got here, mate. What on earth were those? They look like fish bowls. We'll keep the dress in here. Plenty of makeup. Must have been a girl's room, eh? Oh, I never know. Some boys wear makeup these days, Glenn. Actually, they used to in my day, too. <laughs> but they were generally gothic type punk dudes. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's a light. Must be a new one. That can go. 
We'll keep the lights. We'll keep the flowers. Alright, we'll jump in and we'll see what new furniture we have to pick. Now that I've upset all the people. <laughs> Can't get the spoon. There it is. Alright, now it's a treehouse for the kids, and maybe that's what we do with it. Change it from a treehouse for adults into a treehouse for the kids. Fuck are the adults. For anyone who doesn't know, I don't care about the profit margins or anything like that. When I play this game, I just have a bit of fun. And we don't care about the adults. If the adults turn around and say something stupid like, Oh, don't like kids' decorations in a bedroom. We just ignore them because we do what we want around here. So we don't care about that. So feel free to throw some suggestions at me. But at the moment, I'm getting kind of a kid's treehouse vibe. Because this is too small for living in. But it would be a great little kid's treehouse. I reckon it would. I think we'll keep... I like this. And I kind of like the wood outside frame. I don't know, I kind of like all this because it's very organic. But we'll clean up in here and we'll change all of this. What do you reckon, Father Jack? Looks like you're the only one in chat at the moment. Should we do it as a kid's treehouse or should we do it as a proper house? That's right, you just hold the button down. I forgot about that. Bathroom is tiny. It might need redoing. Is this place seriously clean? Are you serious? What is that one I see on my... Is it out here on the balcony? It is. It's that. Hmm. I think it's pretty clean. Do you now? Oh, that's good to know. Okay, I do think a kid's treehouse would be the one. We can have a bedroom in here. I mean, we keep the layout basically the same, I guess, because we don't have enough space to change anything. I think we'll keep it roughly the same. Yeah, I won't be changing too much, I think. We'll keep it relatively simple. I'm thinking... Actually, we might even end up just finishing this one today. It's a very small little house, isn't it? Um, Walls. Hang on, glass walls. Oh, okay. We could do glass walls, you know. I mean, we've already got these ones. It's a very dark color, isn't it? American walnut? Hmm, I could just replace them. I could just replace them. Do we have a door in this? Doors. Okay, so hang on. Glass walls. These are... Carla. Carla, okay. Doors. Do we have a Carla?
alphabetically. No. We don't have a door that matches it. Okay. They're all the same name. Hang on. Let's try. C-A-R-L-A. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Okay. So if we were just to go to a door, is there any... What door did they use? See, now that's the thing. I hope when they do Hasbro 2 that they do my thing about telling us what we're using. Okay. I think I recognize that door, but see, that's completely different to that wall, which is full length. Yeah. I think we just go all the way across. I think we might actually do. Because I don't actually know what these are. Let's just... Oh, I didn't want to sell a plant! <laughs> oh, and you keep selling my plants! <laughs> Why do we have that? That is stupid. We don't need this. Because it's just taking space. It's taking space and it's getting in my face. I keep walking around it for no reason. Alright. Let's do all the... Light switches, power points. To these, this room for now. I'm just going to concentrate on this room and the bathroom. It's not much of a bathroom. Not much of a bathroom at all. I'm going to leave the front doors for now. Okay, that's clean. I like that. Okay, so let's decide on our walls. Um, tiles, I think. Or should we do a wallpaper? Keep it very organic and very natural looking. Actually, I have an idea. It's wall panels. Uh, do we have any wall panels that just look like wood? Not really. These. That might be all right. Or maybe that one. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at either these. Not bad. That looks more like it's um, dirty. It's got a very dirty look to it. Was this was kind of more clean? Or... Let's have a look and see how they look on the wall. What? Yeah. It's a lot brighter than this, but I don't know if we're going to go to something that looks like that. Um,
Light colour, medium panels, narrow panels. Oh, okay. They look kind of natural. Um, can you... Uh, here you put it down. Let's see how this one looks. That's not bad, actually. And it probably suits that timber better. I think these are too dark. I think this one does look better. I thought I saw a mouse for a second. Now that would be one that house flippers should add. Houses should get infestations and things if you're using them as an office. So if you use it as an office only. Not as a house that you... Because you know, when you knew, when you were actually doing a house up, you'd get rid of them. But if you don't get rid of the house, if you don't sell it, then I reckon you could get them back again. Like we did with the moles. If, I noticed the moles kept coming back. Actually, I probably could have stuck with that wall. And made it a feature. Never mind. Very quiet in chat today. Where is everybody? Are they all waiting for seven days to die tomorrow? <laughs> We'll make that one a different colour. I mean, you're probably not even going to notice much of this wood underneath once I put in some glass. But... Uh, what do we need? Probably about three more packs, maybe? We'll go in a second and we'll start taking a look at the new decorations to see what new decorations they've given us. Okay, we'll leave that side for a feature, I think. Um, I need to put those down. I need to put those down. Right, that gets those out of our way. We'll do the floor. Now, they've got this nice wood outside. I'm actually thinking we could do something along those lines. Floors and ceilings. Once again, we'll keep it looking natural. Something like this might be nice because it'll brighten the place up. What does that look like in comparison to this? It's a fairly similar colour. And that would just keep the, the flow of that outside coming into the house. That actually looks a lot more like it, doesn't it? Oh, it's a bit darker. Okay. I 
Yeah, looking forward to seven days to die. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. Been really enjoying that. And tomorrow when we get in there, what we'll be doing is getting ready for the Horde night, pretty much. So Father Jack's going to make sure he knows where the Horde house is. Uh, we're going to make sure he knows the directions to get there. So he doesn't get lost. And then what we'll do is, um, move, yeah, that's better, I like that. Next time we play after the Horde, we'll then end up moving location to our new base location, which will be a little island I've found. It won't keep the zombies out, but it's going to act like a moat. So the zombies will still be able to get in, but they'll be um, crossing a moat and then happen to scale our walls to make it more like a castle. That doesn't look too bad. It's a reasonably similar colour. It brings the flow into the house. And there is a butterfly. Oh, it's a leaf floating through our walls. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, if you're new to the channel, remember to go on to Twitch tomorrow to check out the stream, because that will be the only way you'll be able to participate in the chat integration. You'll be able to watch on YouTube, but you'll be able to be a part of the chat, but you won't be able to take part in the integration if you're not on Twitch. Uh, so what are we doing now? I think we could probably get rid of these tiles, because I don't need them. We're going to do a different feature on that side. No, that one looks dirty. Um, Glenn's lost. Where's walls gone? I can see glass walls, floors and ceilings. Walls. <laughs> walls is way down the bottom. Glass walls takes priority. <laughs> Wall panels, right. Is that the dirty looking one? And no, but I don't really like it. I think that's the one that we had before, right? Does it match the kind of... Sort of, yeah. Okay, so let's... Let's see how that one looks. I mean, like I say, once we're put in the glass walls, you're probably not even going to see it. Yep, that works okay with the floor. Was that? That wasn't the whole packet. No, wrong button. That one. Yeah, it's a very small house. It's not taking very long, actually. Normally I take a couple of playthroughs to do a house. First one's usually cleaning it up and destroying it. <laughs> usually the second one is to then decorate it and finish it off. Sometimes I go back a third time to just put in the final touches, but... I don't think we're going to have a lot to do on this house. Okay, let's put these down. It's 
package tiles would not be useful. Okay, so I think... Oh, pardon me. Um, glass walls. So we've got a 2 or a 2.75. Right. Yeah, it definitely has to be the 2.75. Hang on. 2 and 2.75. So these are just a bigger frame. Ah, okay. So, if we go with this... Now we want something that's going to go well with the wall it's on. It's a little too dark. Too light. That would be right for the other side. Whoops. That would work right for this side. Oh, this has got a bit sticking out too. No, you're just taking up unnecessary... Sp oh, it's the door frame. No, it isn't really unnecessary, is it? It's the frame around the door, Glenn. You kind of need that. <laughs> and then the big... With the American... Oh... It did say African after I thought it said American. That would be typical. Change the name on me. <laughs> Is that the same one? Uh, ancient African. I thought I said American. Hang on. <laughs> American mahogany. That's what we went with, wasn't it? Okay, hang on. <laughs> um... And it's changed. It's changed. Okay, I don't know if it was American Mahogany or not. We better hope it was American Mahogany, right? They do not look the same. That one has much more defined grain. It must have been African and I read it wrong. That wouldn't surprise me. Okay, I'm not sure. What we're going to do is we're going to freaking make sure. Because like I've said before, money's not what matters. It's looks. <laughs> Let's start again. Ancient African. Okay, I like the, I like the wood grain. Alright, now we know these are the same. Alright. Oh, I used them. <laughs> Might be the same pattern, but you used the wrong. 2x2, two 2x275, two, two African. We'll get it right one day. There we go. Now it touches the roof. <laughs> ah. Okay. Now we want this one. And we have chocolate mahogany. Yeah. Or light mahogany. Light mahogany? I think light mahogany. No, not 2 by 2 The ants went 2 by 2 2.75. 
and we want light mahogany. Hey, hi Jack, how are you mate? Welcome, welcome. How you be this evening? Afternoon. <laughs> there we go. That kind of works. That kind of works. We need to fix this wall here. Not a problem. Uh, we'll do this side. How are you be, hi Jack? Good to see you, mate. Um, oh, you're good, huh? <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, we're um we're back in house flipper again. Um, this is the spring update. So I thought we'd jump in, we'd take a look, see what's new. Yeah, one point two seven five. We'd see what what's new about the game, what they've changed. So this is a new house that they've added, which is a tree house. Uh, they've also added more decorations and things too, I believe. We're going to get into the decorations real shortly. As soon as Glenn's finished smashing the place around a bit. Right. See, that's better. That's better. It's a lot brighter. You can see out all the windows now. Okay, so let's fix this corner over here with our tiles. Walls. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've already got them here, Glenn. Panel's dark and park. Which one was it? Yes. And that goes on this face. So I'm trying to give it a natural look. Rather than how it was before where it looked you know, it had weatherboards and things it didn't have a very natural look and feel and if we're doing a treehouse i reckon it has to have that natural look and feel okay and what was the other one then is it this one i don't think so nope didn't think so that's the dirty looking one This is what we used. Yep, it is too. Okay. That's the one. So instead of these looking like bricks, we'll make them look like um, wooden beams. There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot more natural. Uh, we need to fix the floor. Where was our flooring tile? Did we use this one? I think it is. Yeah. Much better. That's... Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I like that. Much better. -er. Miss Wildstyle, how you be? Good evening, good evening. Hope you're doing well. Um, This is the spring update for House Blipper. They have added the new house, which is this one, of course. Uh, the tree house. And they've added a whole lot of new stuff for spring. So there's new plants and decorations and things. So yeah, this is our new house. Right. Yep, I think that looks okay. Trying to keep it looking very natural and organic. What happened to the light? 
fell down. Um. Ha! Doorbell! <laughs> I've never actually done that before. I didn't realise the doorbell was actually rung. <laughs> We're going to have to use more doorbells in future, I think. <laughs> this is a new update. Yeah, yeah, the spring update is what they've referred to it as. So they've added... Um, according to the update page, it, they've called it um, a house, a treehouse by a lake. But when you're looking for it uh, through the game, it actually is listed as a summer house. So yeah, the, the update calls it by a different name to what the actual... game calls it as such when you're looking for it so yes yeah, if you're looking through the browser it's a summer house to try and find it i was a uh, not a, sure at first because i looked and i thought wait what there is no tree house and then i sat down and had myself a drink and thought yeah glenn you've updated but you know what house flip is like it won't be available for a few hours and then i checked the update thing and it did sure enough it did say that it comes out today was the update i think actually updated yesterday so they let you update the files before it actually comes out so that as soon as it comes out you're immediately able to start playing it and you don't have to wait for the update <laughs> so that's all those walls covered yes yep okay um let's get rid of all this and let's see what new furniture we have, because there must be some new furniture too, I'm guessing. We'll keep all of the furniture as natural looking as I can, I think. I mean, it's a treehouse, so we want to try and keep it natural. Uh, furniture. Oh, we're not really going to be able to get much of a dining room, are we? Now, that's a point. I mean, yes, we're going to... Well, my thought was to do it as a treehouse for kids. I'm open to hearing from you guys on that one, but we're still going to need probably to make a kitchen because the game expects it. I mean, we, we, we can sell it without it. We can just do it as a plain treehouse, but I reckon kids like to pretend to cook too. So we're going to make them a kitchen. <laughs> Functional cabinets. Anything new in the functionals? Not seeing anything new. And Father Jack, no, kids don't need a bar. <laughs> Just because you probably had one as a, as a kid. <laughs> I'll be waiting for that. What is the bar? <laughs> Okay, now I think we're going to have to go with either functional or we just add the units ourselves. Because I think all these are going to be too big, aren't they? And none of them are quite suiting what I want. So electronic equipment, cooking. Something like this, I reckon. Yeah, because, I mean, it's a treehouse. This gives it that look, if you know what I mean. You probably don't. <laughs> Hang on. Which what? What? Who? Change that back. Ah, that's the one I was looking for. I was clicking all the wrong ones. Um, beige maybe? Oh no, yuck, that's horrible, isn't it? It's kind of horrible, isn't it? They've mixed up the lights and the darks. Oops. 
We could do dark. Dark wouldn't look too bad. I don't know about black. Dark grey? That's not exactly dark grey, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Would you call that dark grey? That's dark grey, apparently. Pastel rose? Oh, no, definitely not. Definitely not. No. No. No, the beige was horrible. I don't know if I like the light. These darks and lights are all mixed up, so it's kind of hard. I don't know if I like the light. I think we'll go dark. It'll make it look like it's been used and cooked on, but it's not going to be so dark like the black. The black, I think, is just going to be too black, too dark. Okay, how are we going to do this? Maybe we have the kitchen in the area here, perhaps? We could have a fireplace as you come in, maybe. I reckon possibly here, opposite this wall. Yeah, that, don't, that looks okay. That's 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 good enough for now. And it's functional. I do like the ones that are functional. Oh, okay, it's one light for both. I'm thinking of two separate lights. No. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we can go with that. Um, sorry for your loss. Hang on, what have I missed? I'm hanging in there. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Mum passed. Oh. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Last Saturday. So to bring you such sad news, but thought I wanted to... Okay, yeah. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Miss Wild. I hope you're um, doing okay. Refrigerator. We want a refrigerator. That one there. Or we go with a chocolate. So we could have that. Oh, this has got a range of colours. Or that. And so does this. Okay. Now we're talking. Because we could probably match one of these. We used... I mean, the oak might work. Oh, you're going to have to change both colours, all colours. Oak. Oak. A little too light. Sapel, I think, will be too dark. Oh, too bright. American Elm. Well, we didn't go with the American Elm. We went with the African Elm, or whatever it was. That looks gold. Oh, it's probably because my torch is on. Hang on. <laughs> no, that's dark. Light nut? I'm a light nut. Is this my delivery? No? I think I might hear a courier outside. Still waiting for that cable to turn up so I can use my second screen. That kind of matches the floor. I think that'll be too dark. Actually, it kind of matches... It kind of matches that, actually. Okay, so what is that one? Dark Paddock. I'm going to call that. I know that's pronounced wrong and I don't rightly care. It's a paddock if you ask me. 
Actually, is this even better? That's really close, isn't it? That's real close. No, I prefer that. The Brazil nut. And Brazil nuts are yum. Too light for that one. Okay. No, I think we go with the Brazil nut. So Brazil nut. Okay, hang on. What is this one changing? Oh, the base. The floor. Okay, and this one changes the doors. Yeah. And then this is, oh, the handles. I think I like the dark or the black. Where are the handles? There they are. Hey, Stu! How are you, mate? Welcome. How you be, buddy? We're checking out the latest update from House Flipper. They've, um... Oh, did you just rotate it? This is the spring update. Actually, that. That's a nice colour. That works well with it. Now, where do we put the fridge? Next to the toilet? <laughs> Yeah, this is their spring update. They've got a new house and um, some new furniture and decorations and things. Let's pop that down there for now. There we go. Okay, so other than the refrigerator, what else do we need? A mini glass fizz fridge. <laughs> I don't think they need a mini fridge. Uh, what section am I in? Refrigerators. Yeah, refrigeration. Cooking and other. What else do we have? Toaster. The kids need a coffee maker in their playhouse. We're building a playhouse, in case you're wondering. A treehouse, I should say. Um, the house is... Well, the new house that they've put out with the update is a treehouse. So I've decided we're going to do it as a kid's treehouse. Um... I'm sure you're fully aware that in this game we have to supposedly please those people on the left there. The ones on the very left. Uh, Glenn doesn't care what they want or what they think. So we're going to do it our way, my way, your way, I don't know. But I thought a treehouse. And I know for a fact that they're going to complain. Because the first thing they're going to complain about will be uh, kids' decorations in the bedroom. But we're doing this as a kid's playhouse, treehouse. And I don't care about the adults, because nobody cares about adults. <laughs> so far, so good. Do we have any so far that look wooden? See, I'm trying to keep everything that looks natural and organic in the colour scheme. These are brand new. I have not seen these ones before. They just stood out as soon as I saw it. That is definitely brand new. Okay. As soon as I saw that one, I thought, oh, I've not seen that one before. None of these sofas look very organic, though, do they? <gasps> Maybe we make it look like grass. <laughs> wood. Just a simple wooden one. They look really uncomfortable. cedar what would the cedar look like no it's kind of stand out doesn't it those people on the left are trolls they are you're not wrong mate yeah i ignore them generally because they just annoy you 
you know you you do something like take out a window oh there's no light <laughs> shut up and wait for me to put another one in people <laughs> But they also annoy me in other ways too, like you you do something and then they just complain about it, no matter what it is. If you want to make it a kid's treehouse, they'll complain that it's kid's stuff in the bedroom. Well, we don't care. Let's have a look at the armchairs instead. Maybe a sofa might not be right for this house anyway. We could do bean bags. A hanging chair, maybe. Hanging chair would give it that treehouse kind of vibe, you know what I mean? But I think the tree, the hanging chair would be better off outside. Oh, and they've got... Oh, no, it's not. I was going to say, is that the same as the other ones? No, I think it's a different pattern. These are new, aren't they? I can't say I've seen these before. Brazil nut. Black handles. Hmm. I don't know, man. So, I think we'll just... The sofas didn't seem to... I didn't like the sofas. I mean, I could do one of these. Mahogany's what the other one went with. Light mahogany. I don't know if that's a dark mahogany or light mahogany. Ah, uh, pillow. That is not white, mate. Trust me, that is not white. <laughs> Apparently that's this colour here. Caustic's white. I think they've got a boo-boo. <laughs> that seems like a boo-boo to me. Caustic's green. Caustic's white. They're the same, aren't they? I think they've made a bit of a boo-boo, mate. Ah, uh, where's our, where's our... Yeah, look at that. I think that looks all right. <laughs> hey, Blue Eyes, how are you, mate? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're going to put that there. I like it. It fits in well, I think. Um, Right, we need a couple of cabinets for the kitchen. Oh, we're still looking at chairs, that's right. Well... I don't know, I don't think I like any of the um, sofas. And I'm not seeing any new sofas that stand out to me in this update. So, I think we'll just go with armchairs. Because none of these are really... standing out to me. I think we go with armchairs. We'll put in a couple of... 
organically natural looking ones but then we can also put in a couple of uh, bean bags too because it's supposed to be a kid's treehouse after all none of these chairs seem to work right either they just don't have the right look I wonder if I have anything let's have a look at furniture sofas these are DLCs from the workshop armchairs or are these the outdoor ones hang on these could be the outdoors Ah, these are the ones from the DLCs. Okay. Uh, furniture. Living room. No, I don't really have anything here either. A log bench? Oh, mate. I didn't know we had that. That's, that's definitely very organic-y. Is there a particular side of it? I can't tell. No. It's just a log bench. Okay. <laughs> Can we sit on that? Oh, you can't. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> it's a bit different, isn't it? A log bench. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, these ones here are all off of the uh, workshop. Surfaces, no translation. What? Oh, okay. Um... I mean, we could do something like this in the bedroom. I think that would probably be the most suitable bed for this house. If we can get it in the front door. Here we go. Where would it go, though? I mean, we can change all the windows. It's a very big bedroom, bed for this bedroom, isn't it? Wow. Okay, let's get rid of this door. I don't like it. Okay, get rid of all these light switches. Oh, that was another thing they said they'd added. There's new light switches. Apparently they've added new light switches, so we'll have to have a look. Um... Oops. Oh. <laughs> the spelling is so awesome, Glee. Oh my goodness. With electrical outlet, they have added a whole lot of new ones. Because the dog ones and these, well, the animal one. And these ones, this one here, are all original, but uh, most of these all look new. Interesting. Okay. I like it. They've got a good range. They've got some really old-fashioned looking ones. They've got some decorative ones. Graham's metal light switch. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but I just want to know what it looks like. Does that light up or something? No colours I want, really, is there? I mean, that's about as close as we're going to get, isn't it? Something like that. Brass. What about something like this? What is that going to look like? Okay. Still not a good range of colours.
Come on, I want something that looks organic. Unless we go to something patterned. Or we go back to the ones we've used in the past. This is what most of my light.